So, let's talk about some little bit like conventions again. We talked about a few of these things. I just want to go over them all in one fell swoop. First one, context. You can dispatch a startup event when you're done. Some of these things, such as startup commands, may read configuration files, right? They may have to connect to login things to verify it even works. They may have to call home if it's a licensing server, right? And you've actually licensed the software to third party. Startup events are just a good convention to say, look, when this thing dispatches a startup event, it's done, right? Could be a timer that takes zero milliseconds to run. It, it runs in the same stack, call stack. Why would I even do it? Follow the convention, API never changes. Promising. Services. They either hold data that they retrieve, that's what I like, or they pass an event. One of the two. Whatever you pick, be consistent. Models. They give data that changes in the event versus they'll get referenced. It's really up to you. If you give data that you change in the event, no one has to have a reference to the actual model. They can code to the events. They can code to say, when this particular event happens, regardless of who it was sent from, I know that this particular event is going to have that. Now, is it really tight coupling when you know that it's a high score model with this event, even though it's just an event as a string name? It's not really the model reference. Commands. You should only use them for dry. You should only refactor them. You shouldn't start with them, okay? It's okay to do a starter command, that's great. You know, you can quickly find where the bootstrap code is and it gets things moving. But most of your work can be done in mediators and you can refactor it later. You can clean it up later. If you're one of those ivory tower, you know, space cadet architects who doesn't want to do that, I'm totally following you. Make sure you have a good package structure. Make sure you enforce it on your team. Commands are really good to quickly find that code, right? You don't have to look for mediators and views. You know exactly where to look. On the other hand, those commands can get out of control. It's a last resort, okay? Mediators and models, good APIs will save you all the time. Views give reference to the model. So does it get a reference from the mediator? That's cool. Or do you do the presenter route and actually give the view a VO or maybe a different type of model that's only for or even itself to get its data? You could do that really up to you how you want to do it. I personally like giving it references to model and as the application grows, if the model is you know, not going to work or it has an amalgamation of models, I offload a lot of that work to the presenter. Sometimes I have to break up multiple views. Sometimes we have to reassess like what is our data model here, right? You should be able to handle nil, okay? The reason this is important is that you need to know if it's nil that you did or if it's nil by accident. The second you go, is that supposed to be nil? You failed. It shouldn't happen. So for example, let's say you have an avatar, it shows an image, and it shows their name right below it, and you give it a person VO or a person model, right? That particular VO, if, if the text field shows dash, 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 and this shows a question mark, that is a wonderful example of nil. I don't have a value, so I'm gonna show, I don't know for the icon, and a dash, dash, dash for the text. You know, if you ever see that, that it's nil. It's not that you got a person VO that has nil fields. So the first name is, you know, last name or nil, and the icon is nil, right? So it can't load an image. That'd be a different, different thing than a nil object. Okay, this helps you as a GUI developer quickly visually understand what's going wrong with having to parse through gallons of logs, right? It seems benign, but a lot of people create all kinds of race conditions, and their views are not capable of handling nil. And they expect their mediators to automatically, you know, instantiate up, give them the data, and they had never have any problems. So you need to be able to handle nil in some form or fashion. At the very least, if you're GUI explodes when you set it to nil, that's a problem, okay?